Please come. Have your seat. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. Be comfortable. Be seated. Thank you, sir. Prithilata. Yes, sir. Please introduce yourself to us. So, myself, Prithilata Padi. Hmm. I was born and brought up in Barampur, hmm. a small city in Ganjam district. Hmm. I have completed my graduation with commerce. You start from school. Hmm. I have completed my schooling, higher schooling in Vibhigiri school, uh, GSTS, which is there in Barampur in Norway. Hmm. Uh, then I pursue my uh, graduation with commerce. Plus two? Plus two in Khalikot College, sir. Hmm. It is also in Barampur. Science? Hmm. No, it's commerce. Commerce, okay. Hmm. Then uh, I pursue my graduations with commerce only from mm. Mahamai Mahila Mahavidyala. Mm. Where? Then, Barampur. Yes, sir. It is also Barampur. Mm. And uh, I, comp I have completed my master with mm. commerce from mm. uh, Barampur University itself. Mm. I have keen interest in dancing mm. and uh, I am an enthusiastic person. Sir. Very good. 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 Dancing Odyssey? No, sir. Uh, folk dance and freestyle dance. Oh. Mm. Good. Good. Now, uh, Preeti Lata, yes, sir. tell us something about our uh, GST. So, uh, GST introduced to, to um, uh, reduce the simultaneous tax system which is there. It's a, it's a policy to introduce one nation, one tax system where uh, destination based tax system was introduced. It replaces the simultaneous tax systems which are there in India, India throughout the nation and uh, is there. Uh, yeah, because we are getting a lot of revenue out of that. We are all happy and uh, gradually it is increasing. That's okay. But on the ground, there seems to be a lot of uh, bottlenecks and uh, problems for the small traders, we are told. What is that? So the small trade, uh, the GST itself mm. is a complicated procedure. Uh -huh. So it uh, involves many technically uh, technicality in it. So the small traders neither have the ample time or not the expertise to uh -huh. file uh, uh -huh. the GSTs. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, and Preeti, therefore, being a master's in accountancy and other thing, can we simplify the procedure process for that? So that the small traders find it easy to to comply, tax compliance is easier for the small traders. So we can. In other words, sorry. In other words, does it have to be necessarily complicated? Because you admitted it's a complicated thing. Can we cut the complications and make it simple for the taxpayer? Sir, as the technology is evolving uh, right now, yes. so we can do a little bit mm -hmm. and also at the same time we can uh, create awareness programs mm -hmm. and uh, learning uh, uh, centers where uh, we can uh, take the sessions of uh, small traders so that they can learn mm -hmm. and uh, it make them easier for file this GST. So, so, uh, so uh, we are told there are a number of slabs, isn't it? Yes, sir. Can we further compress the slabs and uh, simplify or make it a fewer slabs than they are right now? So, according to me, the slabs which are there right now is uh, very much clear and uh, it's, uh, it is easier to understand for the layman, those who are in uh, the businesses. Mm -hmm. So, I, my personal view is that uh, there is no need of changing the slabs right now, mm -hmm. rather uh, uh -huh. the technicalities which are there in GST filing. Uh, Maybe it can. Uh, but we are told that even in the last three months, the GST council has met a number of times and that there are a lot of deliberations going on. Yes, sir. And uh, the states seem to be having so, their own point of view and the reservations about the GST thing and they are trying to refine. In what area it needs, if, if it is not the um, having fewer slabs, you are, you, you are not for it. It is apparent. Then what is the area they, they are working upon? They want to refine the GST system. Further, we are told, we don't know. What could be the areas uh, they could be working upon? Sir, I have no idea. idea. But you are happy as it is. As an accountant, you have no problem. All that you are saying is deploy technology. It should be, it should be over. Hmm? Yes, Good. That's a very positive, optimistic view. Good. And uh, 
So tell me, uh, uh, Preeti, wonderful, very, very few accountants, masters, account, masters in accountancy come to the, come to the, uh, what is a civil service. So tell us how your financial expertise or commercial management expertise is going to be useful to us when it comes to public service. So, uh, the main thing which in executive or the public servants do is hmm. uh, optimal uh, use of the limited resources which are there to uh, perform the uh, uh, to perform the policies uh, which are uh, uh, drafted by the hmm. politicians or uh, the uh, legislatures. Uh, hmm. So, uh, through this knowledge, I can uh, give my expertise to this field that uh, I can use those. Uh, uh, resources which are uh, there in limited numbers to a larger area. Good, very good, sir. Thank you, okay. sir. Okay, Preeti Ratta Padi. Hmm? Yes, sir. You belong to Ganjam district. Yes, sir. And place is Varampur. Yes, proper. Sir. Yes, sir. Mom. Now, what's unique about the Varampur is the town? So, Varampur is uh, a silk city. It is known for its uh, the originations of silk. Um, Varampuri Pato was famous throughout uh, Odisha and also in India. Apart from that, sir, Varampur is the uh, hub of economic for southern India, uh, southern Odisha. Apart from that, sir, Varampur is a beautiful place where uh, scenic natures are there. There are many tourist places uh, nearby areas with it. Achha, we had the, the news uh, long back that Ganjam district is a place of Open defecation. Yes. That's yes. a very distinction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that in any sense you can mm. uh, What is the situation now? Sir, uh, gradually it is uh, reducing because the awareness. But they have declared that now it is uh, open defecation free. It has already been declared. Uh, yes. Ah, but uh, is it really so or still? Sir, it is uh, declared that uh, Ganjam is now defection free. Is the people uh, uh, aware about uh, the problems which are there uh, associated with the defecation uh, in open? So now the um, government initiatives which allowed uh, building the um, sochalas are there in every house. So the people are now using those things. There is, this, there is a change. Achha, what makes Varampur to have lot of migration from Varampur to Surat? Which no other district is experiencing, mm. but the job is one which yes. is unique for this uh, yes. migration. Yes, sir. Um, more than sixty-eight percent people of Ganjam district is uh, mostly associated with agriculture, and uh, as we know, the cyclones uh, frequently hit the Ganjam district. So the uh, and uh, the people are dependent on monsoon itself. So it is uh, make the agriculture vulnerable. And uh, the disgust employment which are there in agriculture uh, force them to uh, search for employment opportunity which is provided uh, other in other states. And the skill, sir, the second point was skill, uh, lower skill uh, development knowledge is there in youths so that uh, they are searching for the labor uh, work which is uh, mostly provided by manufacturing units which are there in uh, other states. Less number in Odisha. So the migration took place, sir. Your hobby is dance. Ganjam is also known for dance. Hmm. Yes, uh, what is the similarity? So, Ganjam has uh, many four dances, such as uh, Jodi Songho was uh, famous for uh, Ganjam dances, uh, where uh, the two choses were uh, jo adjacently jointed and uh, they play the Songho together and uh, moving their body accordingly. And the second one is uh, Ranapa was there, which uh, get the famous uh, throughout the country. Uh, they, uh, the performers perform with a wooden shaft. So, the Ranapa is there. Apart from that, sir, one uh, famous dance of uh, Ganjam district was uh, Bagho dance, where the performers uh, color themselves uh, with yellow and uh, black stripes, just like in Tiger, and uh, they perform mm -hmm. the Bagho nature. And they have also banned some of the Indian Idol participated in Indian yes, Idol Prince program. Dance. Ah, Prince Prince dance. Dance. Yes, so, Do you belong to any of this dance group? Sorry, sir? Do you belong to any of this dance group? No. No, sir. It's a being a commerce graduate, a commerce graduate, uh, can a lady become a good uh, finance manager of the family? Sorry? Can a commerce graduate uh, can make a good uh, 
family manager of the funds. Yes, sir, it is huh? there. So, what's that uniqueness? Sir, How uh, they can Sir, managing a uh, managing family is different from profession. So, I think uh, managing a family or managing a marriage is uh, dependent in both the partners. It's not about the profession on which they are, rather it's the understanding of what they have. Now, what I mean is how to manage the family finance. Because you are a commerce graduate, good in finance management. Uh, can it be an asset for somebody to become a good family fund manager? Yes, sir, to, uh, to a certain extent because uh, the commerce graduates have the insights of uh, uh, mutual funds and the assets where we should invest uh, rather saving uh, in uh, putting the money in saving accounts. Uh, we prefer to invest the money. So it, it will uh, give a certain uh, lump sum amount in back. So it is there, sir. So, can you last question for you. Punjab district is known for Kavi Samrat. Upendra Banja. Can you recite some of the lines from? Any of his creations, maybe by this village, maybe. Yes, sir, Kavi Samrat, uh, what I recall is uh, Kavi Samrat Rupendra uh, Banjaji, right? Uh, Kuti Labanyapati. Labanyapati. Uh, any of those? The lines go this uh, like, Dekhare Nalini, 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 Re Purita, Brahmanti, Brahmare, 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 E Subita. Oh, which is the. Uh, sir, uh, it means that. Uh, the yeah, what is the name of the. Labanyapati, sir. Labanyapati, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you, did you take part in the National Republic Day Parade in Delhi? Yes, sir. In which year? 2009, sir. 2009? 19. 9, sir. 9, 2009. Okay. Uh, you were in the graduation stage? At no, the... sir. I am in intermediate plus in to first, second year. Okay, okay. Very good. Uh, did you enjoy? Yes, sir. A lot. It must have been very enjoyable. Yes, sir. There must have been participants from... Uh, Different parts of the country. Yes, sir. Anyway, anyway. So, 2009, who was the Prime Minister then? At that time, sir. Mr. Manohan Singh. Yes. Uh, you must have attended the Prime Minister's party. Yes, also. sir. Yes, sir. There are many dignitaries where we are um, fortunate to uh, participate in the parties, uh, such as uh, the Chief Minister, Chief of uh, 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 Defense All Staffs, and uh, Honorable President's meeting, then Honorable Prime Minister's meeting. Apart from that, sir. So you had Navy, Naval Wing. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, so you, uh, when did you complete your PG? 2015. Yes, sir. So, during these nine years, did, were you in any job? Sir, in 2015, I got married. Yes. In 2017, I have a kid. Okay. So, I am busy with him for yes. two years. Very good. Very good. In 2019, I have prepared, uh, started preparation for civil services. And uh, I have attempted uh, two times uh, in May, but uh, didn't qualify. Okay. But uh, this okay. time, so what, what does your husband do? Sir, he is uh, assistant uh, revenue officer in uh, uh, Purasthampur block. Okay, in Ganjam district. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, you tell me... Uh, uh, what is the rank of the naval chief? Who is the chief of Navy? What is his rank? Sir, uh, he, uh, Mr. Uh, Dinis Patel was there. Uh, he is what admiral. is his name? Admiral. The rank? Admiral, sir. Admiral. Uh, what do you know about admiral of the Navy? Sorry? Admiral of the Navy. Admiral of the Navy. What is that? So the chief of uh, naval staff is called admiral of the Navy. But now you told admiral. Yes, sir. So this what is, is the, the difference between Admiral and Admiral of the Navy? I don't have any idea. Okay. The highest rank is Admiral of the Navy. Yes, for outstanding uh, achievements and performance, that rank is given. Like, yes. what is the highest rank in Army? It's General. General. So, uh, what is Field Marshal? What is the difference between General and Field Marshal? Sir, uh, the gen uh, there are ranking differences in there. No, that is the highest rank, but only given only for outstanding achievements. Okay. Who was... Uh, Awarded, who was given this rank, Field Marshal, uh, in the in the Indian Army or from the Indian Army? Do you know any such name? No, sir. Yeah, have you heard about General Maneksha? No, sir. A very famous General. He was awarded that rank, okay, General sir. Maneksha. Anyway, anyway. Uh, so you tell me, uh, what is the minimum age for contesting the Rajya Sabha elections? Rajya Sabha elections? Yes. Age, minimum age. Is 35, sir. 35. 35 is for President and Vice President. Sorry, 30, sir. 30. And for Lok Sabha? It's 25. Very good. Very good. 
I said, you tell me about uh, the Subhadra Yojana, which is very much in the news now. So, so what is its purpose, etc. So, Features and purpose. Okay, yes, so Subhadra Yojana was introduced by Odisha government, where they uh, focus in empowering the women by assisting the financial uh, support. They are uh, planning to provide 50,000 uh, in five years. Yes. 10,000 per year, where the 10,000 we are given uh, in, uh, in two installments. One is in Rakhi, which is a, like a gift for the sisters of the Odisha. And the second was in uh, International Women's Day on March 8, where it is uh, mentioned that empowering women was depicted. So, here we go, sir. Okay. So, don't you think uh, women in India should be widely educated? Yes, sir. This is necessary. But uh, the women's uh, uh, population in India is uh, uh, still very much backward in this matter. What steps should be taken to make them uh, highly educated? So, Many women are doing very well, no doubt, undoubtedly. But still, a lot needs to be done. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what steps can be taken in this regard? So, before the steps will be taken, we should address the problems first. There are many problems like patriarchy society was there and the safety issue which is uh, a main concern nowadays uh, as we seen uh, last some times. So this would be uh, done despite of the laws like Porsche Act are there uh, of 2013 is there. Still there are many things where uh, security is a first priority of the parents who send their girl child to the higher education. So the security uh, side should be uh, saved. And the second thing was uh, the awareness of uh, becoming a empowered woman, uh, the rights or the um, uh, profits which are there for uh, a nation for the individual okay, should okay, be. Good. So, tell me about. Uh, have you heard about Poxo Act? Poxo. Prevention of uh, Sexual for Harassment Act of 2013. Now, uh, you tell me. Uh, uh, last question. Uh, what does the 8th schedule of the constitution speak about? 8th schedule. Okay, what is it? Sir, your question. Sir. So, Preeti, when is your interview? Sir, is in 11th September. 11th, okay. So, how do you feel you have done this mock, Preeti? Sir, so there are lots to improve right now for me. Hmm. But I think. Uh, hmm. But I can uh, judge less than you, so I need uh, the feedback from all mm. of you. Absolutely, I mean, you have been uh, very, very confident, yes. eager, enthusiastic, ready to engage us in the conversation. Ultimately, it's a conversation between the candidate and the and the board, and the uh, and the candidate is the is in focus. Yes, sir. So, we only enable the conversation, but you hold the conversation, yes. you run the conversation and you have been able to run it. One or two questions you are not able to answer, it's okay. Your political science, international relations, we are not doing it, not necessary, but again as a sample. So, what do you think of uh, India's role in the, on the international uh, scene scenario right now? So, India is evolving, India's foreign policy is also changing. Mm. Uh, from the non-alignment to mm. India is shifted to the multi-alignment where mm. India is uh, rigorously saying that India's interest is putting first. Mm. Ap uh, apart from the world's politics, India is taking the leadership in world arena. Sir. Excellent. Good. So, Pre Preeti, you will do very well. Yes. We would like to see you on uh, in, the, in the list very much on top. Thank you, sir. Unless you have any uh, questions to ask of us, we stop here. Okay. All the best, Sridhar. Uh, we enjoyed the conversation. I hope and you so did. So one thing says missing here. Yes. PG right now. PG commerce. Yes, sir. You are not writing. In post graduation. Okay, sir. You have not written anywhere. In graduation also, you have not mentioned commerce. Okay. Become. Okay. It okay. become graduate because here it is written plus three. Yes, sir. But what plus three? Arts, or science, or commerce. Sir, I mentioned all the core subjects which are there, so I thought. Uh, no. yeah, yeah, that's also important, important, like plus two commerce, yeah. become. Okay, sir. So we have immediately we so have this an idea. Yes, she's <coughs> the name of the examination. Okay. Name of the examination is given, okay. so according to okay, okay, mentioned. Okay, hmm? That will take your uh, interpret towards a focus. Hmm? Okay, sir. Rest of the things are okay. Thank Best you. wishes. Okay. 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 Okay.
Hope so that you will do well. Thank you. Keep reading the newspapers. Yes, sir.